Hi friends, today you are going to learn SOLIDWORKS 2D line sketching tool and smart dimension tool video tutorial. This video contains how to use the line sketching tool and to make 2D sketch, how to apply smart dimension tool for applying dimensions to the 2D sketch and how to make it fully defined. Here I am showing picture of fully defined 2D sketch. It's black in color. And this is completely for tutorial purpose so that you can learn about the line drawing and smart dimension tool application. Note the sketch shape and dimensions in a, on a paper. And let's begin to make the drawing. First, you are going to see how to use the line sketching tool. So that you have to open our part document. So that you click on this new button. And here is the path template as we shown in the earlier tutorial how to make a path template. Click OK. Wait for it to open. This is a path template and its unit is in millimeter gram per second mmgs. And uh, the first we have to select a default plane for drawing. This is a graphics area. So first make, we will select the front plane. Then you have to make it normal too by using this icon or you can also press Ctrl A to make it in 2D form. Then we are pressing the normal tool button. Or you can use the Ctrl plus 8 button also. The sketch is a combination of lines, arcs and curves. It is the basic part for applying the feature and so that we can make the product design from the sketches. The sketch is the basics of the SOLIDWORKS product design or model design. So let's begin the line sketching tool in SOLIDWORKS and uh, here is the front plane and uh, we are selecting the line sketching tool in from the sketch command manager. This is sketch command manager and this is the line. Also, you can use you can use the right button and uh, here the sketch options line select the line tools. Here I'm going to create the sketch as shown here. And on the origin, this is the horizontal line because the yellow uh, indication near to the cursor showing it as a horizontal. Then go into the changes to the vertical and again horizontal vertical this angular and vertical. This is the sketch. Here I want to and this is the property line property and the existing relation. Of this, uh, this is a selected line so that the existing relation shows out like this and uh, okay now we have to apply the dimension for that just hit S button in your keyboard and there is a pop-up window will open and you can select the smart dimension or you can select it from here also from the sketch command manager to apply this smart dimension, select the smart dimension, and I already selected this line so that showing the dimension like that. And uh, here the dimension is 64. Enter 64 here. Apply. And uh, for typing, giving the angular dimension, click one line, and the select the other line also. Sorry, this one and. This line. Now it automatically changes to the angular direction. I am going to enter uh, it as the body 125 degree as the 125. It changes like that. Like this way, you can apply the smart damage. Next. I will show you how to make this sketch as a fully defined and uh, to make it fully defined you have to 
apply all dimensions and relations to the sketch so that you can make it a say, fully defined sketch and this is a blue color part because if we I didn't apply the dimension for this line and so it blue color indication that means this is undefined sketch and the black color indication that means its relation and dimension both are applied so it is fully defined the line so make it the entire sketch fully defined we have to apply the dimension and relations so again I am clicking hitting S on keyboard and the other dimensions are entering other dimensions it's 72 and it's 72 this one is 50 and next is 20 it's 20 uh, and also this one See, when I apply these heights and all, it automatically changes to the black color. That means it is fully defined. Same way, you can create any sketches, 2D sketches here, and apply the relations and uh, all dimensions to the sketch, and and the color will change to the black color from the blue. So it become a fully defined and you have to apply all features after making the 2d drawings as fully defined okay and this is the some additional information about the line tool there are two line tools are left one is center line tool and other is the midpoint line tool so first we will see the center line tool can access the center line tool from the sketch command manager from the flyout menu so select the front plane and make it as control plus control plus a2 plus control a2 make it normal to select the center line and you can simply select the center line it's a reference line can make the used as an axis reference or you can use as a construction line but you can convert a simple line to a center line also by just clicking on it and from the property manager you can see for option for construction you can just click on it and it will convert to the the center line that it means the center line tool is mainly used for the construction of models. Next, you can see the midpoint line. Actually, it's a three point line, a straight line. You can apply like this, click on it, and when you are dragging on the into the one side, the other part the other half part is going to the opposite side like this, like this. and uh, this is the midpoint line it's a three point line actually you can see the point relations are well. and these two lines are very helpful in your design work and we will see very detailed in the upcoming model exercises so i hope you could understand the line smart dimension center line and the midpoint line and how to apply it in the solarworks graphics area and feel free to like and subscribe us and uh, 
uh, your commands are valuable for us and uh, generally we can improve our next video tutorials and uh, thank you guys bye bye